What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be going through a wildly popular Among Us mod and how you can get it set up so that you can play it yourself. Unfortunately, this mod is only available for the PC version of Among Us, not on any of the mobile platforms as with most of the other mods. And yes, it's compatible with the Crew Link proximity voice chat and if you'd like to know how to set that up, check the description down below for a link to a video on that. In today's video, we'll be going through setting up and using the Among Us Sheriff mod. If you're not too sure what it is, basically it's a mod for Among Us that adds a Sheriff player to the game. Like the imposter, they have a kill button and they can choose to get rid of an imposter. However, if they mistake a normal crewmate for one, they'll die as well. High risk, high reward. Now, of course, something like this, you'd expect that you'd have to have a custom server of sorts installed and set up. But even though this mod does support something like that, it doesn't necessarily require one of them. You can play on public servers as long as all of the other players also have the mod installed. The mod is designed in a way that it does not send prohibited server requests. But of course, you're able to join your own custom server if you'd like to be safe using Imposter. If you'd like to learn how to set up your own private server for Among Us, you can check the description down below for a video when that comes out later today. But for now, how do we install and set up this Among Us Sheriff mod? Well, it's actually incredibly simple. You can download it either through the official GitHub page or from the CurseForge mod page, which unfortunately this link they have over here doesn't work. Why is that? Well, it's simply just missing all in front of mods over here. But besides that, the mod that you download from here is the same as the one that you download from GitHub. So whether you download it from one or the other, it's your choice. To download it from GitHub, on the right hand side, look for releases and then simply click the one right below it that says latest. Or you can scroll down and look for releases and compatibility, then download the latest version from here by clicking download. Clicking this link will immediately download a zip, but if you click this release button up here, it'll show you this, then you can click the zip. If you choose to download it from CurseForge, you can head across to the Files tab at the very top and then simply click Download next to the top release over here, which will download the latest version of the plugin once again. Both of them should be the exact same version. Regardless, simply open up the zip that you downloaded and then inside of here, we'll have a bunch of files. What do we need to do with this? Well, it's pretty simple. Scrolling down on the GitHub page, step number one, download the mod. Step number two, make a copy of your game's root directory, then extract the contents of the zip into that folder, and then open your modded game via Among Us.exe. So how do we do this with the Steam version? Well, it's pretty simple. Simply open up Steam. In your Steam library, simply locate Among Us, right click on it, manage, and then browse local files. Doing this, you'll open the games folder over here. Of course, if you have it on the Windows App Store or elsewhere, the steps to get to the game's files will be slightly different, but you'll eventually end up with something like this. Among Us.exe, this is the directory with all of the game files in it. So let's go up one folder, just to common, and we'll duplicate this folder with Control C and Control V, or copy and paste. This will be the one that we mod, so if we launch it up via Steam or wherever else, we'll have the original version installed. I'll rename it to say Sheriff Mod and open it up. Now that we're inside of our duplicated folder that won't launch if we tell it to play via Steam, I can open up the zip right next to it and simply drag and drop all of the files across back into the Among Us folder over here. Now that we've done this, we can close out of the zip that we just downloaded and then launch up Among Us from this folder over here. How do we know that it's working? Well, simply if you have a look in the top left hand corner, you'll see loaded Sheriff Mod 1.1 by Woody. Of course, your version may be slightly different. From here, you can join an online lobby or a local lobby, or of course, if you have your own private server set up, you can join that too. As you can see, if I click public, I'm not able to join a public lobby. However, I'm able to create my own private one and everyone else with this mod installed will be able to join it and play it as you expect. So I'll click create game under hosts and after creating a game, other players should be able to join as long as they have the mod installed as well. But of course, if you'd like to host your own private server, do let me know, and I'll probably be making a video on it later today, releasing on this channel. It'll also be linked in the description down below. Of course, if you do have a private server already set up, how do you join it? Well, it's pretty simple. Open up the BEP in X folder, then the config folder, and inside of here, inside of org.bepinx.plugins.sheriffmod, you'll find all of this over here. All you have to do is define the server inside of this over here. It's super simple to get working as you'd hope. And after creating yourself a private lobby, of course, other people with the mod installed can go ahead and join. I'll go ahead and join on my laptop right next to me. After joining the server, you'll see both of the people pop in and you can walk around, play the game as you'd expect. Let's go ahead and customize game and you'll see down here, show sheriff on or off. That's about it for this video. 
Hopefully you found it somewhat useful. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!